This summer, Sam and I bought 40 acres in the North Woods. It's been a dream of ours for a long time. We've been setting our yurt up on other people's land, and we'd always looked forward to the time where it was on ours. The land that we purchased is pretty rural. We don't have direct access to the road. A trail connects us to where we park. Initially we were walking our camping gear out there and getting to know the place by foot. We bought a four-wheeler pretty quickly and a little trailer and started hauling things out. Everything took a lot more time as there were so many more steps. We knew that our goal this summer was to get the yurt up and that was about it. And even that goal felt pretty ambitious. The trail from the road is about a quarter mile and crosses a small creek. I spent some time, took some rocks out of the creek and just stacked a simple bridge We had to haul every building material, every tool, every jug of water out with the four wheeler. Initially, we set up our tent and a screened in gazebo acting as our living room. Some tables, some chairs, a camp stove, and we were living all right on our own land. We didn't rush into building the yurt. We wanted to take our time and get to know the place pretty well. There's a field. It was cleared sometime in the 90s and the whole 40 acres was logged at some point, we think, in the 70s. So all of our growth is between 30 and 50 years old. The field was cleared and kept mowed for deer hunting, so a perfect spot to start a homestead. We closed on the land in June, so in the north, we only had about four months to get things finished up before the snow started flying. We cleared a small spot, not the best spot though, because we're hoping to build our cabin there in the coming years. We cleared a spot that was somewhat level and high ground, an area that we thought would suit the yurt away from any large trees that could fall on it in a windstorm. We did everything by hand. We didn't purchase a whole lot of tools up front, though we did start the project with a handful of things that we did already have. All the materials for the platform of the yurt we reused from previous builds. So we hauled everything out there, pre-cut and labeled, ready to be put back together. Tuesday, sunny. Highs in the mid-70s to lower 
about 80s. Southwest wind around 10 miles per hour increasing to 10 to 15 miles per hour in the afternoon. Tuesday night and Wednesday, clear. Lows in the mid to upper 50s. Highs in the mid 70s. Wednesday night, clear. Lows in the lower 50s. Thursday, sunny. Highs in the lower to mid 70s. Because we're in a rural part of the country, we don't have any cell phone service, so communicating between Sam and I was pretty difficult. We worked a lot alone, but when we worked together, we got a lot more done and could problem solve together. The foundation of the yurt is simply floating, sitting on top of the ground. We framed out the base, made a subfloor out of OSB, and insulated it with 2 inch foam, and then plywood floor on top of that. He had a, uh, a wolf scat. Oh, he had a, a highlight. <laughs> As some folks are adverse to... Go up, the no go up. Great job. It goes over the metal bracket. Our yurt is made by Pacific Yurts that we purchased in 2017 when we were trying to figure out housing out west. It goes up fairly quickly with the help of friends. Just like whatever, kind of, and then you can shimmy it back. Yeah, yeah, we want it to be as close to, so I'm going to move it back in this way. If I want it as close to this yeah, as possible. I think I... Once we got the yurt up, we installed the wood stove, built some steps out front, and created a fire pit and a grate where we could cook our meals and enjoy the work that we had put in. Having the yurt as a temporary structure has empowered us greatly. Not only has it been our full-time living structure, but in this scenario where it can be the first thing that you put up on a piece of land. It feels incredibly empowering. Now that we have this up and we have a place to rest, we can start building the cabin that we've always dreamed of. 
Thanks for watching and being part of this journey with us. I look forward to sharing more as we progress and create the homestead of our dreams.